So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. Get lost, kid. Speak English? Uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É isso. Jesus. At least I had found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark, what was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control, making the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit? I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> What do you need, guys? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Easy, pal. Easy. Look, I didn't mean any offense. Desculpa, amigo. Por favor. Passa tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele. Pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Anda logo. Anda logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter.
Jéssica. Vai lá, dá uma olhada. Olha ela, tá meio sexy, né? O que você faria se você tivesse com ela? Vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá. Vai, tá vai, vai, vai. Né? Epa! Aí, boa. Tchaca. Nice, Aí, toca pra sabedoria. Se houve uma coisa que eu aprendi desde que eu estive aqui, foi que os brasileiros saíram da ferida com uma bola de futebol. E para crianças como essas, havia uma única legal chance de tirar ela daqui. É a coisa ah, mais simples. Vai lá, mostra pra ele. Você escolhe um dos... <risos> Desculpa, uh, olá. Fala inglês. Eu uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, estou? Está no lugar errado, rapaz. Ah, não compreende. Eu preciso de um telefone, um telefone. Bora. Público. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, Gui. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Sai de cima de mim, meu! Oh. classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone, vai, lá no fundo, ó. Segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt. I buy you a beer. Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, you won't try to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele. Um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. Por favor, amigo! Não, não! 
Relax, soldier. You're American? Oh, jeez, buddy. Am I glad to see you? Oh, fuck me. Jesus. What a fucking creep. That comforting smell of secondhand beer and exploitation. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I'd just shot up their favorite skin joint. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns.
down and the risk of becoming too clear-headed. Fabiana's market value is falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. safe medical detox. security, it had to be Serrano's pan.
I had to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't.